just so fun. Even starting a Thursday night, ladies night mm -hmm. was just <laughs> awesome. So we had different themes every night and um, we did corsets on Thursday and 90, naughty nighties last, or Friday night. And last night was kink night, whips and chains excite me. People had a great time with their themes and the whole weekend was just, has been amazing. Let's and, back up to Thursday night. Okay, corsets, I, know, I know, I'm sorry, I just, I just so, so excited. So these, corsets, you corsets, clarify corsets. that you and I were not wearing corsets? <laughs> I thought it was understood, but, uh, but I, it was corsets and lace. What so. I wanted to say is just how amazing you two ladies looked. Yes. It's just incredibly beautiful oh, and gorgeous you. and sexy as. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And thank everybody you. here, all the ladies who wore their corsets, just beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So you're saying I'm saying that you look sexy as on Thursday oh. night and Friday night and Saturday night oh, and right you. and right now. Oh. <laughs> Yes, in my post weekend attire, my uh, voice oh, yeah. is my normal, my normal Sunday morning voice after a weekend at Caliente. Yeah, we, they didn't get to see all this. Yeah, they didn't get to see us is, when we were, just we're, we're I think we're all feeling a little rough <laughs> yeah, after, yeah. after three you days. You still even have a little bit of eyeliner on, oh, you, I, so oh, it's, oh, it's oh, a sexy oh, look. Oh, Tristan looks sexy with some eyeliner, oh, yeah. so you've got oh, a little yeah. bit left over. Yeah, all right. just a residual. Makes those eyes. I, I, honestly, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, just a little. It's just a little bit of a smoky look for you there. So if you guys on YouTube zoom in. You might be able to see a little <laughs> bit better, but but uh, yeah. So corsets and lace on Thursday night. It was a lot mm -hmm. of fun. And ladies' night here is always so fun because it's just a very relaxed group. Usually, yeah. it's the folks that are coming in early for the weekend, or members, or people like so. It's a it's a real community feel. Yeah. It's a mm -hmm. real yeah, it was good. very comfortable, easy community vibe. And um, and of course, we get to then catch up with folks that we haven't seen in a while usually because it's a popular night right. to be up here for yeah and it's it's always fun this was a great crowd on thursday night it was, it was yeah it was. i mean the club was full and, and it was awesome yes yeah we danced yeah 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 dj ian doing his thing and so yeah so it, and this is one of the things we wanted to talk about too this is why we wanted to record here this weekend so with all of this is really fresh in our minds and we've been talking about it for a little by a little while or maybe you might hear pieces of it either in some of our recordings or even on Instagram but Caliente is doing some things and, and they're making some changes and it's been really really fun and it's really cool and one of the things was the um, Thursday night thinking about how the bar was really active we had the dance music was up and running they now have um, they'll simulcast the mm -hmm. what's happening in the club out here on the on veranda, the veranda yeah. and so with the the tvs and so you can kind of see what's going on in there because mm -hmm. there's different music playing and right. it's like zones of different music it's i really 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 like what they're doing because it's like you can find your space in your place if you're and not feeling feel the, kind of the, the vibe right. of the yeah. club tonight the piano bar which has always been a great mix of those two but now even out here mm -hmm. last night mm -hmm. it's like oh that's even a third different kind of level of right. of music and it wasn't it was really it was really neat i really but it keeps everybody together and incorporates you know all yes. all the parts of the of the resort yes. together matter of fact i see people down in the pool playing volleyball right now <laughs> oh yeah yeah but they got an oh, active game of, <laughs> of naked pool volleyball sorry oh. you guys can't see it <laughs> we did that on purpose but they're out there yeah. <laughs> so that's one of the things that i think will highlight a couple of the different things mm -hmm. as we're as we're talking about our amazing weekend but um but it was so fun and we we had some fun adventures we've had a couple of fun oh, yeah, adventures yeah. here the last couple weeks because we yeah. came a couple weeks ago and that was let's talk about some of the first uh things that we were able to participate in are the new kind of socialization areas There's socialization, new socialization areas. areas here at caliente you know socializing we love to socialize we do, we love do. To socialize. <laughs> i think we're really good at socializing good at social. really? oh, good. i think yeah. so we're friendly we're nice you know we're approachable um we're definitely approachable, we are definitely approachable. <laughs> please approach us so, please. Yes. <laughs> The big arrow flashing yes. over our head is like <laughs> available, available, available. <laughs> Anyways, besides our desperational ploy yeah, right. our attempts. Yeah, it was kind of lame. <laughs> yeah, it was. Sorry, sorry. Everybody has a down time, you know. But anyways, so we were here um, last month and we noticed some of the socialization changes that were happening. And so one of the things that is different, at least right now, and I don't know how this will change for as we're moving into fall and winter. But the what we call the tiki bar stage out here by the tiki bar itself and the tiki bar pool, there's a small stage. And during the summertime, that's where the bands play. Now we're moving into winter, so the band is going to end up coming on in a little while, but they're closer here. Um, but they took that tiki bar stage 
and it was the perfect size for three mattresses and some curtains in between them and some curtains on the outside that you could draw or leave open so that if you want to socialize in a more horizontal position. <laughs> I think I they think. call it the love shack. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah, that would be nice too, yeah. I guess. And so, um, so we decided we would converse horizontally uh, out there <laughs> mm-hmm. in the Tiki Bar Love Shack. <laughs> and that was a few weeks ago. And it was a, it was a warmer night, but it was so far. It's very, it's, so it's very open, mm-hmm. but you can pull those curtains if you want. We were on the end uh, of the of the little hut there. Like I said, it's just three beds in a row. And um, so we could keep the keep it open. So it wasn't unbearable, mm-hmm. but I think in the, it, now that the weather is starting to change it'll be, a little yeah. bit. But it'll it be, it'll was be nice really fun. Yeah. It, what did you guys like about being out there? I, so I have dis- rediscovered or discovered in the first place this <laughs> exhibitionist side that I have. And so I really like the fact. So we intentionally left everything open. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, you know, people were walking by and watching. And so that was fun. I enjoyed that. But I, I also enjoyed just the sounds, just the, you know, the natural sounds. And kind of like when we were at Hito, you know, I, I, I love having sex outside. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, you could see the moon. You yep. could see, you know, the stars. You could, you know, hear the, the wind and the palm trees and the, and the palm fronds and the wrestling. the fountains here yeah, kind of run exactly. all the time. Yeah, exactly. So you always have the water mm-hmm. running. Yeah. Yeah. So I love the, the natural aspect in addition to the exhibitionist aspect. But uh, so for me, that's what it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're going to talk about your transition into more exhibitionist uh, coming up on some future podcast episodes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, I think we all have. I think we've, I don't know about you guys. I mean, I know you always felt like you were. I was a little bit more reserved, but I think as I've become more comfortable and confident in my body and just enjoying having sex mm-hmm. it, it's become easier to be an exhibitionist yeah and same for, for me, me. Yeah. yeah same for me so i don't want to do it all the time but yeah i do yeah i don't want to do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no you're right no i'm i agree sometimes like well you the wanna, other night you we'll talk about it the other enjoy. night yeah, yeah we hadn't yeah. seen each other in a while and yeah. i wanted to reconnect i'm like i don't want to reconnect in front of a bunch of people because i am having to think about it right because we are who we are mm. we'll talk about that too how Especially on the weekend when you're hosting, people know who you are. So they know who you are. So if you're exhibitioning, they're going to know who you are. <laughs> but um, but anyway, that was a couple of weeks ago. And uh, what about my, you? My favorite part of that Love Shack new area is um, the boardwalk where you walk up to the mattresses. Is, is just kind of a, a little patio at the foot of all the beds. And it has about a waist high a uh, rail, nice wooden rail. Yes. So if you want to be other than horizontal yeah. and you use that <laughs> rail to your advantage, now you're looking out over the pool area, watching people walk by, watching you, watching them. <laughs> yes. That was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. While we were socializing. We were. It was challenging for me to hear you because you were like behind me. <laughs> As I was. We're, Socializing. I, I wasn't. I wasn't speaking in coherent words, so you weren't missing much. Oh, good, good. Yeah, that that was kind of hot. Yeah. yeah. And that rail, actually, I'm tall, and uh, and I have a long, I have a lot of leg, and that rail is actually really high. So I don't think for shorter people, it. it well, I don't know. It would have come higher up on them, but for me, it was the perfect waist height to uh, relax, to lean over, and just. Take a load off while you know, yeah, while we're socializing. Or take yeah. a load. <laughs> take a load in. Take a load off. Take a load in. Take a load. Yeah, load, 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 load off. Yeah, <laughs> to help you take your load off. <laughs> wow. That was good. <laughs> Completely. The are you swinger. Are you watching? I know. I, know. I think, I think you are. <laughs> that load in. I love it. I'll take that load. And I did. And I did, by the way. Yes. I, for the record, I totally oh, did. That's right. That was, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's amazing how well you socialize at uh-huh. times, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> We just have a lot of fun. Yes, yes. I mean, we do. Yes, yes. Day in, yes. day out. That's yes. that's kind of how we choose to live our lives now. We just yes. have a ton of fun yes. all the time. <laughs> yes. We do try. We mm-hmm. do try.